We're in Gunnison, Colorado. This is a town of about 6,000 people located about a four hour drive southwest of Denver, Colorado. Gunnison is a ranching and tourism oriented community. It's known for having some of the coldest overnight temperatures uh, in the U.S. during the winter time. It's also known as being an escape community. How did it earn that distinction? Well, let's go back to the year 1918 when the very virulent Spanish flu was spreading throughout the world. Hundreds of millions of people died of the Spanish flu, including hundreds of thousands in the U.S. alone. Some of the town officials here decided that they wanted to keep the flu out. So they decided to put up barricades on all ends of town, both east, west, north, and south, to prevent people from coming into the town, or if they came in, that they'd be quarantined. Uh, the same held for train passengers. There was a train terminal here in Gunnison. Anybody getting off the train immediately went into quarantine. This lasted probably three or four months in the latter part of 1918 and early 1919. There were no deaths of the Spanish flu during that time. And remarkably, there was very little pushback from the uh, residents of the community here. Lots of folks here thought that the town leaders were taking exactly the right step. Uh, interesting to uh, compare that to today, where countries like China and Italy have done some of the similar measures where they're basically containing a virus uh, to a certain town or keeping people out of a certain community. Gunnison tried the same thing on a much smaller scale uh, more than 100 years ago. They say it pays to be proactive, not to be cautious during a pandemic like this. Take steps to make sure you eradicate the flu or minimize it as much as possible. And they say uh, people could learn a lot from what Gunnison did way back when in 1918.